Hi everyone, it's Alina here. Welcome to my channel. Super psyched you guys can join me today. Happy Tuesday everyone and welcome to another tutorial in the series that I will be calling my thankful series for this month. So every Tuesday and Friday I will be bringing a new tutorial based on a thankful theme. So um, today's card will be inspired by this pin that I found on Pinterest and I'm going to show it to you right here. And I really love the look of this wreath. Now you see it's just a straw wreath, has a couple owls in the center, has some greenery. Now I was um, looking at this and figuring out how I can turn this uh, concept into a card. So going through my stash, I have a few um, things that I pulled out that I'm going to be using. And... Uh, the finished product probably won't look exactly like the uh, the inspiration photo here, but it will have some of the elements included. So going through my stamps, I found this uh, Hooter stamp set from the Two Paper Divas. I have used the stamp set a few times on my channel, so I will make sure to leave links to videos featuring these owls. So I have my owls there, like the ones in the inspiration photo. And uh, for my wreath, I'm going to create my own wreath. And I use um, my Doris Nesting Circles die. And I cut that out beforehand, as you can see here. And this is where I'm going to be building my wreath on top of. And as you can see, it's the perfect size. Once I add my owls to the center, it's the perfect uh, size wreath. Oops, sorry touched the screen there so I lost the picture so yeah so I'm thinking okay what am I gonna add on top of this wreath and I found my EK success uh, small maple leaf punch I'll make sure to leave links down in the description box below as well as the card measurements and I punched out more than a few leaves out of this uh, Hampton Archive Berry Blast paper pad. I used this paper pad before. It is double-sided, so it has a pattern on one side and it's um, solid on the other side. And I'm going to show you all the little leaves I cut out beforehand. This video would have been way too long if I, if I would have just filled myself cutting out these leaves out of all these different papers. And here they are right here. They're ready to go. And I'm going to show you really quickly how I'm going to arrange them on this uh, faux wreath form that I made out of this uh, brown cardstock. And I'm just going to alternate the colors of the leaves. Now we'll be using some um, stamping up ink pads. I'll show you those in just a few minutes to uh, deepen up the color just a little bit. But you can see right there how I'm going to um, create this wreath. And so the next step was to um, figure out my card base. So um, for my background uh, paper, I use this, uh, the Paper Studio Adhesive Chevron Paper Pad. Love this paper pad. Love, love, love it. And uh, I already cut out my card base and attached my pattern paper off camera before I turned the, started filming actually. And here it is right here. Love this paper right here. Love that pop of blue. And as you can see, and just make sure to check the description box. I'm going to leave all the card measurements down there as well as a link to my blog. So you can check out all the uh, close-up photos. But I really love this and I think it's going to work really well with the, uh, the leaves that I cut out and my wreath form, my owls. And um, I'm going to add some dimension using some fun foam. I think it'll really make it pop up, uh, pop up more from the uh, the card base. And that scrap piece of white card sock you saw there is what I'm going to be using and my memento ink to stamp out my owls so I can color them in using my Copics. And here are a few of the uh, stamping up ink pads that I'm going to be using to color in my leaves. And as the video goes along, you'll see that I didn't use that old olive um, ink pad there. So yeah, I have all of my elements ready to go. All it's all that's left to do now is just to uh, get started on this card. And I will meet you guys back here with the completed card. So sit back, relax, and 